All right, this is a video I'm gonna show you how to document work. I'm outside in my backyard. Um, it's early in the morning, the sun is on the other side of the house, so there's a cast shadow on my back patio. Um, it diffuses the bright sunlight so there's not shadows or anything like that. What I have now is it's just flat on the ground and I look down and I'm not really casting a shadow of my body over the drawing. If I am, I will just angle this up like so, and then I'll get in there and make and document that work. But uh, sometimes the wind pulls your paper up, so it's best to tape down all four corners. Now, when you are documenting work, this is very important. Make sure when you photograph to move the camera where everything is parallel to the edges. For example, see the square or the rectangle of the uh, printing paper? It's parallel to the bottom of the camera, it's parallel to the top of the camera, and it's parallel to both sides. If I don't want you to take photographs like this, like this, <laughs> like this, definitely not like this. I can't stand that. I need to, uh, a professional photograph should be flat. The plane of your camera should be parallel to the plane of the drawing board. Um, and also when you're photographing vertical work, same thing, it might take a while to get that perfectly, right there is perfect, okay? Um, if for some reason you're photographing something and it casts a shadow of your body, which I can't really see how my hands cast in a shadow, make sure there's no shadows within uh, the image because these are contour line drawings, they're difficult to see and it's best to document these outdoors. It's more difficult to set up lighting in your studio, uh, your drawing studio, whatever makeshift drawing studio you're gonna have, and to get an even light on both sides because you're gonna cross the lighting. Outdoors, so much easier, it's fast. You use your, your cell phone, bing, bam, boom, you can make those uh, cropping edits in your cell phone. Another thing, um, if you, if your cell phone for some reason, uh, when you document the work outside, if your cell phone uh, makes the work cool, meaning that it's kind of blue, um, go into the editing um, area of your, uh, whatever cell phone you have. If you have an iPhone, for example, you can edit the images and there's a, there, there's a setting called temperature. So, you know, where you crop, you adjust the contrast. You can also adjust temperature, temperature, uh, means that it, if it's cool or warm, cool meaning blue, warm meaning like orange, yellow, red kind of. Uh, and if it's too warm, you can adjust it to cool. If it's too cool, you adjust it to warm. Uh, and also one last thing, if you wanna adjust the contrast a bit so I could see the lines, I used a pretty heavy pencil here, um, so I didn't really need to do that. But if your lines are so light and I can't see your work in the image, I can't evaluate the work and assess it. So you're gonna to have to make those adjustments or draw darker, one or the other. Good luck and email me if you have any questions.